Welcome. My name is Shakti. I'm your online astrologer for today. And I'm really excited that you found your way here. So after 35 years, I'm still more than ever excited and passionate about astrology because I can see what it does, how it raises uh, consciousness, how it gives us tools to be more in alignment with the uh, uh, celestial universal forces and uh, moon astrology is just one way to do that because the moon is so obvious up there in the sky so i prepared a little uh, powerpoint presentation for you so have a look and make sure you hang in till the end when i get to the uh, practical suggestions of what will be most beneficial for you to do this month so see you over there here we go so as you might know if you have seen other videos of mine i'm an evolutionary astrologer and a published author too so evolutionary astrology looks through the lenses of the astrological birth chart uh, into what evolutionary purpose do you have uh, how can you raise your consciousness? What's your next step? So it's all about consciousness and conscious choices. And I do believe that our state of consciousness is really the key to a full and, and passionate life to live. You might ask why astrology? Astrology is really magical. It can help us to understand what's going on if we move through hard times. It helps us to navigate difficult times more gracefully. Uh, and even what's going on in the economy and politics these days is really reflected uh, through the lenses of astrology. So the, the Pluto in Capricorn squaring Uranus in Aries. This is kind of the backdrop of what's going on for all of us. So depending on where that's happening in your personal chart, it definitely helps you to adjust and, and uh, make conscious choices and steps how you can ride those difficult times in a better way. So I love to do this work because uh, I believe that whenever truth is spoken, it will resonate with your own inner wisdom, your own inner guidance. So uh, that inner guidance is what I'm looking for to empower and support. So in general, if you know what's going on in the heavens, uh, you just have more choices to really live the life and the lifestyle you, you, you want to live. So today we will mainly talk about uh, moon astrology, specifically the new moon in Gemini. And we have two other planets in Gemini besides the sun and moon, it's Jupiter and Mars, so I will touch briefly on that. And in general, we will come to very practical suggestions at how you can ride the wave. So the art of astrology. So astrology obviously is a study of the stars. You can look at it as a science or an art, and it's an occult art of divination, which has very ancient roots. Uh, what I want to paint, point out here um, most importantly is that astrology is a system of archetypes, of symbols. So it describes the universal forces, the driving principles underlying the physical manifestations we can see in our world or out there in the universe. So in astrology, we work with the zodiac, the 10 planets in the 12 astrological signs and 12 houses. And this way we get very specific information. So we don't work with forms or so there is no car accident, no divorce, no forms written into any chart. So a chart, because it's a system of symbols and archetypes, shows potentiality, shows what is the underlying, driving, creative force. So by knowing what those forces are, 
that is what gives you choices. That is how you can ride the wave. And there's always a choice between lower or higher manifestations. So everybody lives their chart. Everybody lives in accordance to those forces. The question is, do you live it on a more lower end of the possibilities, where it's usually harder and uh, more challenging and more painful? Or are you able to step up and be more conscious and live it on the higher end of possibilities? So again, consciousness is the key. So lunar astrology in general, uh, the moon cycle is so important because we can see the moon. We can see the changes in the cycle and we can feel it as well. So we have sleepless nights at the full moon. Uh, we might get uh, very self-conscious around the new moon that something is dying off, something is coming to an end. So the journey of the moon throughout the months just is one way to become more self-conscious, more self-actualized and actually aligned and consciously aligned with our inner world of feelings. So it's just a really wonderful tool to become more aware of what's going on in there. So in a way, we could call it a form of emotional intelligence. So this is where I see the potential of lunar astrology. It makes you more aware of what's going on inside your emotional body. So this new moon is in Gemini, happening tomorrow, June 8th. So it's what we call a balsamic moon today. So we're kind of heading towards the new moon tomorrow. And uh, this is often a time where we feel like something is coming to an end. We might have to consciously bringing something to a clean ending. And this time around the balsamic moon is actually has been the last few days in conjunction with Mars. So there was probably a, a, an energy of urgency in the air for you. Uh, maybe you felt more crappy, more impatient, more easily uh, uh, angry or annoyed about things. So, so Mars brings in this fiery energy. So something is coming to an end. So I believe tomorrow when the new moon is actually happening at 7.55 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, you will feel like this, this uh, impatient, uh, overstimulated emotional energy will kind of level out and uh, it's a new start. So that will be happening at 18 degrees Gemini. And uh, Gemini, there are more Gemini activities actually with Mars and Jupiter and Sun and Gemini when this is happening. So let's have a closer look. This is how the chart looks. Um, here we have four planets in Gemini, Jupiter, Sun, Moon and Mars. Uh, moon and Sun is always in conjunction when we have a new moon because this is where the new cycle starts and the full moon, the moon will be in opposition to the sun, reflecting the light. So, so it's a moment of darkness. It's a moment of, of resting in the womb of the universe to start into a new cycle. So, Gemini. Gemini is a sign where we are looking for new information, where we really want to experience life. So Gemini is an eternal student. Uh, and at some point when we have learned enough, we kind of step into the role of being the teacher. So Gemini is ruled by Mercury, which was known as uh, uh, immortal messenger of the gods. So Mercury in your chart is representing your mind, the way how you process mentally. So also the third house is attributed to Gemini qualities. So whenever you have, for example, several planets in Gemini, uh, you have strong, uh, in the third house, you have strong Gemini qualities. So projects you can do to, to keep up with the Gemini spirits. So it's about everything 
to do with communication, with uh, the connection with your inner world of feelings and your heart. Um, because the new moon, the moon is connected to our inner world, the world of feelings, emotions, and being in such a mental sign, it's really about bringing those two worlds together. So allow yourself to take a chance to learn something new, to sharpen your mercurial uh, qualities. So you could sign up for a class, learn something new, uh, go to your community college, uh, do something online, uh, buy a book, start studying something. So it's really about expanding your, your mental horizon, but in an experiential way. So activities which would be in alignment with uh, Gemini energies would be aerobics, uh, walking, dancing, uh, tango, because tango you do it with a partner, so it brings in that emotional, heartfelt quality. So uh, new experiences, learning, taking chances, expanding your inner and outer horizon. So expanding your awareness. One way to, you, to do that is to journal the famous morning pages, uh, which is really a fabulous way to tune in, to, to become aware of what is just under the, the level of what you are aware of. So when we do that in the morning, like maybe just getting up, having a cup of tea and sitting down and writing longhand, uh, we might still feel uh, dream pictures being within our grasp. We uh, might um, have inspirations, ideas, creative thoughts. So it can be very, very fruitful time if you start journaling in the morning. There is this book from Julia Cameron about, the, it's called The Right to Write. And it's a fabulous book if you always wanted to do morning pages but just need an extra boost and inspiration to do that, get that book. It's, it's really wonderful. And then when you have steered the, book, the, the, the pot of inspiration, and uh, the next step then is to set your intentions and focus those ideas and uh, you can do that through affirmations, you can make collages, you can program your intentions into crystals, you can set up special objects on your altar. These are wonderful ways to, to work with those insights welling up. Or you can have an astrological reading. Of course I'm biased so I know uh, what a wonderful way that is to bring up things you kind of know, but by being reflected back by your astrologer, you kind of connect with that wisdom perspective. And that's very powerful. Most of all, be playful. Have just fun. Enjoy the capabilities of your mind and all that inspiration and creativity coming from your inner world. So also move, go for walks, exercise, swim, uh, read a book, learn, be curious, be amazed, have this kind of open-minded uh, inner posture towards life. So do whatever it takes to love and cherish this curious nature of yours and most of all, Enjoy the ride. Don't forget to sign up for your subscriptions up there. This will put you on the list so you get the forecast video, uh, videos and uh, you will be automatically informed. Uh, I always look at what's your higher perspective, what can you do to ride the wave and uh, hopefully give you better choices. I love it when you leave me comments or questions and I promise I will get back to you. Uh, I'm still looking for uh, suggestions with what you like better, the PowerPoint presentation or the, the live presentation. So 
If you like my work at all, please give me some up, uh, like me. So this has a lot to do with ranking and it helps other people to find this video. So thank you so much. And um, I love to have this time with you. Thank you for visiting. I hope to see you again. And if you want to check out about an astrological reading for yourself, which is always a deepened personalized experience, head over to my website at, ma at mauiastrologyreading.com and know that I do online readings through Skype. So wherever you are, you can come visit me here on Maui, Hawaii and uh, give me a call or send me an email. So have a wonderful month and aloha.